Well. <gasps> Sir, please now get up. Let me dress the beds and do other things. Uh, just hold on, please. I am almost done. <laughs> Hey, actress of the century. Hey, why are you running? You are with the pursue lad. Please, you know what? Just leave whatever you're doing. Go to the next room. I will arrange the room myself. Thank you. Yes, can I help you? Busy man. My busy brother. Hey, my brother, my brother. See how busy you are. <laughs> Uncle, please stand up. Let me arrange the bed. <laughs> ah, ah! You must really take me for a fool. Mm? The thing is, I do not know what you are doing. I told you that I got my eyes on you. You thought I was joking. <clears throat> so tell me one thing. Let me know, Chiki. So if April were to be around, she would allow this girl that is almost half naked come into your matrimonial bed to come and dress her head, to come and dress what for that Chiki. But a cheeky, fear go do. Look, Michelle, mm. what's the meaning of this? Huh? First, you came and you started accusing me of things I don't know about. Now, you barge into my room and you, 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 you even want to start accusing me in my room of, of sleeping really? with my maid. <laughs> my maid. You think I'll stoop so low? Hmm? You think I'm now classless and I don't even know what I want again in a woman that the next best thing for me to do would be to start sleeping with a maid? Come on, sister. What's the meaning of this? You know one thing I like about you? is the way you run around the truth. The way you quote the truth. The way you iron and dress the truth. Look at you. How dare you? A classless man. Stop so the, 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 the same thing that I feel like you're doing. Let me tell you, I am not seeing you, but God in heaven is seeing you. Whatever it is you're doing with this maid, whatever disrespect you're bringing to your wife, just know that <laughs> it will backfire. There's something called karma. In case you don't know, brother, there is something called karma. I cannot represent Look, it. Michelle, shut up. Shut up. Sorry, sir. Oh, I see. So what you came into my house to do is to wreck my home. Is that it? How dare you accuse me of sleeping with the maid? When you came, you started one drama downstairs. I let that slide. And now you dare barge into my room with the same accusations. Huh? You seem to have forgotten who the elder is between the both of us. Huh? Look, the next time you try this again, the very next time I hear you even mention or accuse, point an accusing finger towards me, I'll send you packing out of this house. Try it. Sorry, sir. Look, and I'm not only sending you packing. Henceforth, I am not sending you a dime. Watch and see. That was very cruel, you know. Oh, God. I know. Look, it's like I said. We just have to be very careful while my sister is around, okay? Oh. So that we don't raise any suspicions. All right? Look, I think the only way for us to get her is while she's asleep. So tonight, while she's asleep, you can come spend the night with me in my room, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah. Brother. Michelle, what are you doing here? Brother, I'm so sorry. I've suddenly realized that I've been accusing you wrongly all this while. I shouldn't have. You're my brother, my other brother for that matter. And I know you to be a very respectful man who would never do anything 
to bring shame to his family. And definitely not bringing yourself too low to want to have anything to do with a dirty common maid. So I have come to actually apologize. I miss my brother. Look, Michelle, it's okay. <laughs> I forgive you. I mean, you can go have your rest now. It's late. Okay, brother. Actually, another reason I came here is because I miss you. You know, I had to leave school to come see you because I miss spending time with you. You know how we used to play around? I used to sleep in each other's room. All those things we did when we were small, I miss them. I know that you are married and you have another family and that is taking your time and everything. That's why I decided to take out time to come and see you and not to fight you. So please, brother, come and sleep. Michelle, like I said, but I come and sleep. Please. I want, okay. I want to brush your hair like I used to brush it that time. They know me so little kid sister. Buddha, please go. Michelle, it, it's so look, it's okay, you can come on sleep. Buddha point that inside. Um, Thank you. Happy. Michelle, it... Buddha, let me help you. Oh God. <sighs> I mean, I will sleep here today. Sir, I will just leave you to sleep. Yes, peace. You can go. Good night, sir. Good night, maid. <laughs> Good night, inside. You never come and braid your hair. No, no, no. Not me that time I used to come and braid your hair. See, your hair have grown. Let me scatter it and stuff. Look. <laughs> you know that you miss me. You miss me, Joe. Because I miss you too. Sleep, yeah? Good night. What are you doing sitting here watching TV when I asked you to get water for me? Hmm? What's the meaning of this now? I asked you to get water for me, you are sitting here watching TV. I'm sorry, sir. Come on, go, go and get water for me. What rubbish. I'm sorry, sir. Victory. Ma, welcome. Welcome, ma. I don't like this girl. Who? You mean peace? I don't like her. Vicky, you've said this countless times. And I'm saying it again. Babe, I don't like... There is something about this girl. I really can't... I really can't place, but... I know what I'm there saying. There is nothing about her. Peace is a very nice girl. It's because you don't stay with her. If you stay with her, you will love her. I don't even know why you don't like her. Babe... I don't... I don't really know what you're saying in this girl, but... I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you what I'm saying. I don't know. She has this kind of suspicious looks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's a good girl, believe me. She's a good girl. For sure, sure. By the way, I was surprised you called at your home. I thought you should be at work now. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm at home. Let me tell you the latest. Mm -hmm. My husband called and apologized to me. Aww. And ever since then, he has been so sweet. So Aww. I decided to stay home and make some things for him. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> and I'm thinking about giving him some money. He needs to start up something. Money? Money for what again? Have you forgotten? He said he needed money to start up something. And. Babe, no, now. Uh uh. No, now is it that every time you guys reconcile, money will be the number one request? No, now I don't. I don't. If you give this guy this money now, this will be the like, I think, twentieth time he's requesting for money to start up something. Vicky, Please. are you counting it for him? I'm counting. It's yes. what counting. See, he is my husband, and as you know, my husband and I have been through a lot. So if this is what can bring us together, so be it. Of course, you guys have been through a lot. Him eating your money alone is a whole lot. Stop it. Stop it. By the way, how are your parents, Sha? Ah, 
Okay, yeah. My dad. You know, he gave me the other company to manage for now because he went on vacation with my mom and they won't be returning anytime soon. Hmm. That's why you have a whole lot of cash to spend on your husband. See this your mouth. <laughs> See this your mouth. Hmm? <laughs> Truth now, I'm a lie. Anyways, I've missed you. You don't like listening to I've me. I've missed you too. <laughs> By the way, what did you cook? I don't understand. I've been here since you. You can't give me something to eat. Why? Please, Stop get up. Eating the way you eat. You're a young girl. Stop eating the way you eat. Why See the way you're getting fat. Why behave like young girls? Have I ever told you that I'm a young girl? Babe, give me food. <laughs> no. The Mama Genica restaurant, you have arrived. Babe, give me, do you <laughs> know that go. each time I'm coming to your house, I starve myself purposely, honestly, because <laughs> coming here is coming come to eat, eat food. Please. Come and eat. <laughs>